there are different types of residential surge protection. So we'll start at the meter. You can actually get through your power company uh, surge protection instead of maybe if you don't want it in your panel or anywhere else. And so you can start off at the meter and talk with your power company and see if they can hook something up for you. Go past the meter into your panel. You can get something like this. This is an Eaton CH Ultra surge protector. This type of surge protector would require a 50 amp breaker. So you can get a surge protector that either can be installed directly in your panel with a breaker. So if you have a finished home and you don't want to like cut sheetrock and things like that, you can actually get a breaker that would go in this slot right here. So it's, it's a two pole sized surge protector and that's all you would need to have surge protection. Or for example, if you have a, a, new, a new construction home, you can mount a box for this either below the panel or off to the side. And you can have this as well as the 50 amp breaker that you'll need in order for this to work properly. So you can have surge protection at the meter. You can have surge protection at your panel to cover your entire panel, or you can have a point of use surge protectors. And it's those strips you've seen that are about this long with multiple outlets. So you can plug your TVs, your laptops, or any you know expensive electronics that you, you wouldn't want damage in the case of a surge. And so there's three different routes you can take. You can have all of the above if you want. The more protection, the better. There's nothing wrong with having extra surge protection. Within all of these types of devices, a lot of times you will have a connected equipment warranty on these devices. And so what that means is in case of a surge and you had damaged equipment, even though you had a surge protector, if this took a hit, if your equipment took a hit, a lot of times you can file for that warranty claim and they will reimburse you on the damages that have been done.